Hello everybody, welcome to the SFRTA channel. SFRTA here. Uh, I'm at the Palm Beach Model Railroad Club again. The day has finally come. The uh, Amtrak Phase 5B Cato P42 Genesis and HS Scale have finally arrived. And we are here at the Palm Beach Model Railroad Club to demonstrate them to you. And we also have a couple of we also have a couple of uh, Phase 5 Atherin P42s and the reason for that is, is I'm going to actually compare the Kato's and the Atherns. But like I said in a previous, or actually a, it was a video that I was going to try to make but uh, uh, it didn't turn out very well. But uh, the thing with the Kato's and the Atherin P42s, you can't really compare them. Uh, according to the guy that I bought the locomotives from, there's really no comparison in it. Actuality is an actually an unfair comparison because you're talking about a locomotive, the Kato's, that are much more expensive than the Atherns, therefore have much more quality than compared to the Atherin P42. So like I said, I'm going to compare the two. Uh, and then we're going to see these puppies run. We're going to, well, we're going to see the Kato P42s run. The Atherns are going to sit this one out. So I'm going to move my tripod over a little closer to them. And I'm going to pull the... And the uh, Atherin P42s I have are sound equipped as well. But there's an, uh, there's an older decoder in the Atherin, so the sound's going to be a little bit different than compared to the Kato's. Uh, um, comparing the two headlights, obviously the, uh, K the Kato P42's headlights are brighter, and that is because the Kato P42's have LEDs in them, the Kato, the, uh, the Kato P42s again have the uh, LEDs in them and the Atherin P42s do not. You also notice, a little closer to the Kato's, you have the current nose piece that is found on P42s today. They uh, made the front part of the locomotives to look just like the uh, current uh, version of the uh, P42s that Amtrak has, and then of course you have the older version. The downside to the Kato's is that the ditch lights do not flash. However, you can turn the marker lights off by uh, going into the decoder settings and by having it set the marker lights to off so you have the locomotive operating as if it was in uh, normal operations. Uh, you can also turn off the lights in the second unit as well. Uh, that means the trailing unit, all the lights would be off and the lead unit would only have the headlights on. I didn't ch show you the tail lights yet, but I will show you that. Let me get my camera here. Show you the tail lights here. You can barely see them because it's the lights are on the overhead lights and they're a little bright. But it does have tail lights. The Atherns do not. Kato's do. And the second Kato unit also has tailings. Um, a lot of YouTube users have, who are into the model trains of course, have complained that the Atherin P42 shell is too, smart, is, uh, too sparkly on the side of the locomotive. And there was a little concern that Kato was going to do the same. I can assure you that the sides, both sides of the locomotive 
are sparkle free. So you got Athern, Cato. Athern, Cato. And I must say, compared to the two units, I choose this one every any day. It looks better. The light, the headlights are a lot better. And this is actually an added feature I put in. It's actually engineers in there. I actually put those in myself. Uh, literally last night I put those in, but you can see the engineers in there. There's two in there. And that is prototypical for Amtrak. Amtrak is a long haul train line. So therefore, they have to have two engineers at the cab at all times. So I put two engineers into the cab. However, my Atherns don't have that, but I don't think I'm going to do that with my Atherns because I, I just don't think it's worth it. I did some work on my Engine 47. I do have YouTube videos of, of that in which I uh, repainted the front part of the locomotive. That has since been completed. It's all done. Locomotive came out pretty good. I'm very happy with it. So that locomotive would be in the fair during the 2014 as a backup engine. But I don't think it's going to get to operate because Kano's are renowned for their reliability and you know I think the Kano's and the two other units that I have reserved that I have on the, the list of locomotives that are going to go to the fair to run during the South Florida Fair. I don't think that's going to change. It's going to stay the way it is. Again, it's three pairs of B42s that are going to, that are being assigned to the fair. And again, I don't think that list is going to change. I can assure you that my Kato's are in very good condition. They're going to stay that way. I take good care of my locomotives. These will be in the fair during the 2014 South Florida Fair. We're going to have a great fair, so come by and see us. If you get a chance, again, we're at the South Florida Fairgrounds, and the fair runs from January 17th to, I think now, this year, it's February 2nd. So it's January 17th to February 2nd that we're going to have the fair out. So if you're in the area, come by, check us out. Uh, uh, again, uh, rate, subscribe uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, tell me what do you think of the videos. I hope you enjoy this video. There are more to come. Uh, however, we got to program the Kato's. Um, my Dakota Pro, the uh, NC cab that I that I use to interface with the computer is not working right. So we got to send it in. It's probably going to be about three to four weeks until I can do the next video set of videos. So I thought I'd make this video, do the product comparison, and uh, just tell you a little bit about the Kato's and compare the Athern and the Kato's. But I can tell you this, they're really, you can't really compare them because the Kato's are just light years better than the uh, Athern's that, you know, there's just no comparison. Um, and like anybody here at this railroad club, you know, when they get to see them, they'll tell you the same thing. Um, the Kato's are much, much better, and I'm willing to bet they're going to do other runs. So, there, there's still some Kato's available. I know Ready to Roll has them, and other people are going to get them later on. Get yours quickly. Get yours now. If you haven't pre-ordered, you can't pre-order them, but there might be some left because some hobby stores order a little extras for people who want to get them last minute. But get your Kato P42s because they're going to sell out quickly. Once they're gone, I think they're going to do another run, and that's supposed to come in October. But after that, I think that's pretty much going to be it. But they're also doing heritage units as well. So if you miss out on the Phase 5s, don't worry, they, they, they're also going to be doing a run in the heritage units. Uh, the phase one and the phase two they're going to be doing. But um, the first run of the phase fives, 
They're selling out quickly, and I imagine they're going to be gone soon. So if you want yours, get yours now. Because they won't be around for a long time. So, as I promised, we're going we're gonna to see my Kato's run. So here we go. I'm going to take the camera with me. We're going to follow it along the track. Guys, I'm just letting you know there's a live, I uh, got a video going on, so if you don't want to be on YouTube, I advise not to get in the way. And these are the Phase 5 P42s. And look at how fast these are, guys are going. I got the speed up to 80. And look how fast they're running. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. There's actually two motors in the units per each locomotive. There isn't one big unit or big motor. There's actually two motors in each of the units. And the motor is in the trucks. And there's two motors per each locomotive, so you can imagine there's a lot of power to these units. These P42s I have, the new ones, much more powerful than these guys. In my opinion, they're more realistic scale-wise according to power, in the extra power of the motor. It's more prototypical scale-wise with the power of the units than compared to the Atherns. I don't think the Atherns did a good job modeling the actual power of the real units, but Kato's got it down pat. And the two motors definitely help. I put the video track side to show you what they look like when they're coming through here uh, track side. Okay, the engines have now passed Columbia Bay. They're about two miles away. Well, my, dis da my dad decided he wanted to be on YouTube, so we're going to have him say hello to you guys. Say hi, YouTube. Dad, say hi, YouTube. That's my dad over there. And he is going to be on YouTube. And uh, if you were wondering what DCC system we use, we use what is called as Digitrax. It's okay, but I personally prefer NCE. But, like as I said, Digitrax is okay.
turn the bell off on them. Okay. So, we'll erase these P42s back to here. And put this one backwards. But I'm able to put videos on longer than 15 minutes, so. Here we go. Alright, and the thing about these guys, I saw somewhere online where these P42s can get up to scale speed of 110 miles an hour. That's pretty impressive for a model locomotive to get up, and that's just the speed which they're designed to go up to, their max speed. Pull this back a little. Okay. And I'll tell you what, these guys are like the Excel Express, how fast they are. Well, not quite, but they're pretty darn fast. Next time they go around, we'll capture them. Okay. Like I said, they're very fast locomotives. Um, the speed of them is, like, incredible. And you just saw how fast I had to turn the camera just to catch them going through. So that should give you a good idea how fast these guys are going. I mean, they're going pretty fast. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to cut it off here. Thanks for uh, watching. And uh, more videos to come. We'll see you next time.